Hi, welcome to Trinity 3D TV. My name is Reese. Today, I'll be guiding you through the process of installing V-Ray 5 for 3DS Max. While a pretty standard installation, similar to many other programs, V-Ray has a few things that make it unique that can end up being a stumbling block. Let's get started. First things first, we need to download it. After purchasing the program, preferably from trinity3d.com or vray.us, you will receive an email confirmation from Chaos Group. The email that you used when you ordered the product is the same email that you will use to activate your license. If you have never had an account at chaosgroup.com with this email account, you will need to activate your account first. To begin with, navigate to download.chaosgroup.com and log in with your email and password. Click on V-Ray for 3DS Max and then find which version of 3DS Max you have. In our case, we have 3DS Max 2020, so we will click on that. Now, if you are wanting to install an older version of V-Ray, you have a checkbox in the left above the download button, which will show you all previous versions of V-Ray on this platform. But today we are interested in V-Ray 5 for 3DS Max, so we'll uncheck that box and hit download for Windows. While that's downloading, let's make our lives easier and double check a few things that could be a roadblock. Firstly, close 3DS Max if you have it running. Next, if you've already got the executable, double check your internet connection to make sure it's running. Next, make sure your account has admin privileges. Contact your system administrator if you don't. Lastly, double check your antivirus permissions. Some may wrongly detect that the installation executable is a threat and block it or quarantine it, preventing installation. V-Ray Installer will automatically remove any previous installations. If you have a previous install, you do not have to remove the previous one unless you encounter issues. To get the ball rolling, go to your downloads folder and drag the executable to your desktop. Sometimes, on some systems, starting the executable from the downloads folder can cause issues with the installation. Now that it's on your desktop, right-click it and run as administrator. If you have an older version of Windows, Run as Administrator can be hidden under a drop-down labeled More. Once the application opens, the first screen will be the EULA. Have a read through it, check the acceptance box. Installing V-Ray 5 will get you V-Ray, V-Ray GPU, V-Ray Standalone, V-Ray DR Spawner, V-Ray License Server, V-Ray Tools, V-Ray SDK, and V-Ray Chaos Cloud Client. And now, in V-Ray 5, it will also install the V-Ray Material Library. The Chaos License Server is the program Chaos Group developed to manage the licensing of their products. It's a program that sits on your machine in the background and lets you work offline, change licensing options, run the licensing through a proxy server, or borrow a license. This part is very important. If this isn't installed or isn't set right, V-Ray will not function, no UI elements will appear, and it will not render. We want to be as thorough as possible, so you know exactly what is going on to your computer and where. So we will click Advanced. But don't worry, this isn't going to be nearly as intimidating as it might sound. 90% of the options we come across we will leave as default, and the rest we will explain. After clicking on Advanced, the first thing we will see will be V-Ray type, and it is pretty simple. It asks if this is a workstation, a 3DS Max render node, or a standalone render node. This is for a workstation, so we will keep that one checked. The last option on this page asks if we want the Chaos Cloud client. We want to keep that option, so we will keep that checked as well. If you don't want it, you can uncheck it. It will not compromise the installation, and you can download it later if you want. After clicking Continue, we land on the Directories and Feedback page. This screen is where you can point V-Ray to where you have 3ds Max installed. 
Review this carefully to make sure the 3ds Max root folder and the 3ds Max plugins folder are correct, and where you want Vray for 3ds Max to install its additional files. These should be correct unless you have 3ds Max installed somewhere other than default, like a separate hard drive. Past those, we see a couple of check boxes, one asking to download the Vray material library, the other asking to make Vray even better. We want both of these checked. Then we hit continue. The next screen is licensing, and we have two options. Here, I will go over both of them. We can choose local or remote. The first option, local, will install Chaos License Server on your machine, and will do all the licensing here. This is common for personal machines or home workstations. The next option, remote, Let's V-Ray know you have or are planning to have the license server on a separate machine on your network. This is more common for businesses handling lots of machines. If you are on a network handling licensing remotely, let's go over that now. If you are installing on a standalone machine, you can just check local and hit continue. If you chose remote, you now need to tell V-Ray where on the network the license server is. Here, you either put the static IP number or the name of the machine you have the license server on. You cannot put a dynamic IP address in this field, or V-Ray will not function. If you are not sure what to put here, contact your system administrator or IT manager. If you checked local, you will next see the Chaos License Server installation screen, with a few options. The first is the directory which the license server will be installed at which we will leave as is. Next is Migrate Data During Installation, which lets you bring all your settings over from an older version if you have one installed. If you're new to V-Ray, feel free to ignore this. If you're upgrading from an older version, I recommend you check this option. Add Firewall Exception lets Chaos License Server get through whatever firewall you have installed. I recommend you check this option unless you want to do it yourself later. Hit continue. Once that's done, V-Ray will let you know if you need to close any applications. Do so if prompted, then hit continue. Then you should see V-Ray installing itself. Keep an eye on it while it works in case any issues pop up. If you check the option to install the V-Ray material library, it will download that as well. Then you should be done. As one last thing before you go, if this is a new installation, then pop open the license server. You should be able to get to it by opening a browser and typing in the address field the following. Feel free to pause to write or type this down. Sign in. Then in the top right, click on Online Licensing and enable it. With all that done, open up Max and try a test render. Look at that, our render is working. If you have more questions or need more help, Feel free to visit us or give us a call. Someone is always going to be available between 9 and 6 central time, and we'd love to hear from you. Also, keep in mind, Trinity offers free installation support if you purchase from either trinity3d.com or vray.us. That's all for today. Have a great day, and thank you for watching.